This is the Sofern C8L. So this has got um, a Cree XHP 50.3 high intensity LED in here. It's also got um, the textured or orange peel reflector. And it's got uh, USB-C and it supports USB-C to see charging no problem uh, from my testing. Uh, you've got the side switch here um, with the uh, battery indicator as well. Um, there is a bit of a uh, little bit of play to it um, just with these switches where the um, where the button is actually built onto the driver. Uh, so a little, just a little bit of play in it, but it is a nice solid uh, click to it. Uh, you've got uh, a bit of knurling seems to provide sufficient grip on this. Um, you've just got the little uh, battery symbol there. Uh, lanyard attachment. So you've got uh, a rear forward clicky as well with momentary. Uh, this switch as well, it, um, it's just a bit too risen here so you can't tail stand it. So if they could um, shorten that a bit that would be great. Uh, it does feel um, a bit mushy on the switch. There's quite a bit of travel from where it activates for the momentary right through. Uh, it just feels like sort of like a big giant marshmallow. It could definitely be uh, improved but um, it certainly works quite well as is. Um, but yeah, so this has got a boost driver in here as well. Um, and one uh, awesome thing that Sofin have actually got right this time is their thermal regulation. It is almost perfect. There was just a small spike at the end. But uh, for it to maintain almost 1100 lumens for 1 hour and 45 minutes is just amazing. Um, and that's at an ambient temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. So you will get lower than that um, the warmer areas you are uh, living at. Um, so this takes a 21700 um, cell and also comes with a sleeve or, or adapter for an 18650. Um, for the beam profile on it, um, it is a really good transition from the hotspot uh, through to the from the hotspot through to the spill is very very um, even um, indoors and around about 10 to 15 meters there is sort of a yellowing around uh, the corona but uh, it's not noticeable um, beyond that range uh, that actually looks really really good uh, it's a very very good uh, combination beam on this I really really enjoy it so the, the build quality on this is reasonably good. Uh, there are a few sort of machining marks around the USB-C charging port here. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, just on the on the side of it there. Um, so they've just put the anodizing over that. Uh, there are a few nicks around the place where the anodizing is um, rubbed off or um, it just hasn't been applied properly. And I just have found, you know, being a dealer for Sofern over over quite a few years now that the quality control could uh, definitely use some improvement there. So this uh, C8L is aimed more for tactical use. Um, and that's probably why they've gone with more of a risen switch here. Uh, but it has got two UIs. It has got uh, Group 1 and Group 2. Group 1 is the general use UI, which is you've got... Um, uh, eco, low, medium, high, and double press for turbo. And then the group two is more for the, the tactical UI. So you've got uh, cycling through the medium and the turbo. Um, and I'll go over that um, in a second. But uh, one thing I, I wish was different in the general UI is that you could uh, turn it off into standby by the side switch. Um, this can only be turned on and off from the from the tail switch here. Um, it has got uh, springs on the front and on the rear, um, so that's very good if you drop the um, flashlight using a flat top cell. It's not going to smash in the um, smash in the positive uh, end like you would get on the other some other models that have the solid contact. Um, 
and then on the on the tail you've got dual springs um, and nice um, square cut threads uh, there's no issues there uh, the lumens is quite uh, disappointing to see it's specced at 3100 lumens and I only measured 2390 um, so that is quite a ways lower than what they've rated it at um, but it still performs almost to the range they've specced it at so at spec it's, three, uh, it's 531 meters and I measured 518 so it's still, still given uh, the range almost the range that I expect it um, so that's that's quite all right I'm more somebody that uh, loves to see it's being able to maintain a, you know a, quite a decent output rather than just high numbers so for what it's performing at I'm pretty pretty pleased with so I'll just go over the UI so this has two UIs like I had mentioned with uh, group one being the general use UI and group 2 being the more of the tactical UI so we're in uh, group 1 at the moment so if you just if we just activate the tail switch um, it will turn on to our memorized level um, it also you know has the momentary uh, if you when it's on if you cycle uh, click the side switch it will cycle through four levels um, with the eco low medium and high double click for turbo single click to drop it back down uh, three clicks will go to strobe two clicks from there will go to SOS and beacon but I won't go into that uh, for the sake of time uh, then we've got if you want to get through to the eco level directly you would hold down the side switch and uh, turn it on that way um, if you want to get uh, instant turbo from off double press the, the tail so it is uh, very good to have uh, to change to the uh, tactical UI group 2 hold down the side switch so the tactical UI is um, always activates on turbo on the rear switch uh, and then you've got uh, single click will just cycle through medium and turbo double click of the uh, side switch gets you the strobe and then double click again cycles through the SOS and beacon um, if you you can still get to the eco level by holding and turning on the side switch as well on this UI um, it doesn't do anything with triple clicks on this one um, so you will get uh, always get turbo holding and if you double press that puts you to in the instant strobe.